Hey everyone, Erefon Elijah here, Cultimac.com. Welcome to another episode of Com TV. In this episode of Com TV, I'm going to be talking about Urban Ears Platans? Platans? <laughs> I knew I was going to get that name wrong. The Urban Ears lines are unique in that they come in a variety of colors. The attention to detail is really nice. Their packaging is nice. The materials in the headphones are nice. They're designed in a very understated way. So I thought what I'd do here is a quick unboxing so you can see what's inside the box. And then I'm gonna put these things um, through the test for about a week or so and report back on the things I like, things that I don't like. So you can decide if you would like to spend your hard earned money on a pair for yourself. All right, let's get this box open. So we got the front here, got the back. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wow. I like the way this box opens, and it looks like this little piece comes out like this. The uh, stereo cable um, and then um, microphone adapter that you can put on there. This one is for the neutral plug. And... Uh, Nokia compatible. Oh, these are uh, designed in Sweden. <laughs> this makes much, the Nokia compatible cable makes much more sense now. Then a little catalog in here. All right, so I've been using these Urban Ear Platans for about three to four weeks now, the Judgment. These are really good all around headphones. Yeah, they look good. They sound good too. The highs and mids, uh, sound true, they sound good. The lows usually sound good. It will depend on the type of music that you're listening to. Sometimes they kind of sounded a bit muddy. That's a problem with a lot of different headphones. Didn't really irk me that bad. A couple of cool features are built into these that are worth mentioning. Um, you get a little iPod iPhone control right here with a button so you can control your, uh, your tracks and pausing and all that type of thing. And it also has a microphone. So Hypothetically, you could use these for a phone call um, on your iPhone or your iPod or whatever. That really sounds good in theory, but it doesn't work so well because none of your own voice is gonna get piped into these. So what ends up happening is because these are kind of sound isolating, which is good when you're listening to music, is you can't hear yourself. So you end up talking really loud not so cool, especially if you're in an office or something. So I would probably use these uh, 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 for a phone call in a pinch, but other than that, that feature doesn't really do it for me. Oh, one more cool feature. Little audio jack right there. Uh, so if you're watching a movie on your iPad, watching a movie on your iPhone, and somebody wants to listen to it with you or watch it with you, all they need to do is plug right in, boom, now you both have the same audio. This could be really cool if you're listening to music with somebody, you could chain these along. <laughs> and look ridiculous, but it'll work great, I'm sure. I love the design of these things. Everything on here looks really good. There's little details like this little uh, this little jack right here on the tip. Even the bands that are, that are on here match the color on this. Some of you are gonna think that's ridiculous. I really like it. It shows attention to detail. The box is really nice. You may not care about that. I really like that too. But the most important thing is they sound good. They're great all around headphones. I would definitely recommend these. I will put some information in the uh, in the post on how you can get a pair of these yourself. I'm Airfine Elijah, guys. This has been a Cult of Mac review. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.